Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. I hope you're all doing great. In today's tutorial, I'm going to walk you through, step by step, how you can mirror your Android device to your PC and then use OBS Studio to livestream it any way you want. This method is simple, free, and works on almost all Android devices. But before we get started, if you're new here, make sure to subscribe to the channel and press that bell icon so you don't miss out on future tutorials. Alright, without wasting any more time, let's dive right into it. The very first thing you need to do is download a small but powerful tool called Skirky. Open the link I've given in the description and download the latest version. Now, Skirky by itself is already amazing it, allows you to mirror your Android device to your PC without installing any apps on your phone. But to make things easier, we'll also download a second application that adds a nice graphical interface so you don't have to mess with command lines. So, go ahead and download that second file as well from the second link in the description. Once both files are downloaded, here's what you need to do. First, extract the Skirky zip file you just downloaded. This will give you a folder with all the important files inside. Now, take the second file you downloaded and simply copy it into that extracted Skirky folder. Inside this folder, you'll see a file you can run directly click it, and we're ready for the next step. Now it's time to connect your phone. Take your USB cable and connect your Android device to your PC. Once connected, head back to the Skirky folder and click on the Skirky file. At this point, if everything is set up correctly, your Android screen should instantly appear on your PC screen. Pretty cool, right? But here's something important. If your device doesn't show up, it usually means USB debugging hasn't been turned on. Let me quickly show you how to do that. USB debugging basically allows your PC and phone to communicate properly. To enable it, 1. Open settings on your Android phone. 2. And go to About Phone. 3. Find the option called Build Number and tap on it seven times. You'll see a message saying, you are now a developer. 4. Go back to Settings, scroll down and open Developer Options. 5. Look for USB debugging and turn it on. Once that's enabled, reconnect your phone to your PC and try running Skirky again. Now it should work without any problem. While Skirky itself works fine, it looks very basic. That's why we use Giskirky the second file we downloaded. Open Giskirky, and the first time you run it, it will ask you to locate the Skirky server file inside the Skirky folder. Just point it to that file, and after that, you won't need to set it again. With Giskirky, you now get a nice graphical interface where you can customize things like resolution, bitrate, and even add extra features like screen recording. It just makes the whole experience smoother and more beginner-friendly. Now that your phone screen is showing on your PC, let's move to the live streaming part. Open OBS Studio on your computer. Go to the Sources panel and click the plus button. From the list, choose Window Capture. In the Window Selection drop-down, select Skirky. Also, make sure to tick the option that says Capture Audio so that your viewers can hear the sound from your device. Click OK, and now your Android screen is fully added to OBS. From here, you can resize it, adjust the layout, add overlays, text, or even your webcam basically customize your stream however you like. Once your scene looks the way you want, all that's left is to hit Start Streaming in OBS Studio, and that's it. Your Android screen is now being live streamed directly to your platform of choice, whether it's YouTube, Twitch, or Facebook. So, that's the complete process, step by step, of how to mirror your Android phone to your PC, and then live stream it using OBS Studio. If you followed along, you should now be able to share your games, apps, or anything on your phone screen with your audience. If you found this video helpful, don't forget to like this video. 
Comment below if you faced any issues. Subscribe to the channel for more tech tutorials. Thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you in the next video. Take care, and happy streaming.